Hey everybody, welcome back to another video within the Generative AI tool series. And in this video, we'll be talking about Amazon Bedrock. So as the introduction states, uh, the easiest way to build and scale Generative AI applications with foundation models. So before we begin, it's kind of crucial to understand what foundation models are. So they aren't like a specific type of models. It's just a generalized term uh, given by AWS to all the generative AI models uh, provided by these uh, AI product companies like uh, OpenAI, Meta, A21. So yeah, so let's go through the overview real quick. Uh, Amazon Bedrock is a fully managed service that makes FMs from leading AI startups and Amazon available via an API. So you can choose from a wide range of FMs to find the model that is best suited for your use case. It's like the most crisp and the most precise introduction of what uh, Bedrock actually represents. And it's a it's serverless, so that's like a huge plus. So whenever I think of building an LLM-based application, I would think of a lean server, uh, either built on fast API and Obviously, I'll think of creating routes that can interact with these, uh, with with OpenAI APIs and you know, or some other uh, models API like Mistral or Anthropics Cloud. But the presence of that lean uh, server layer uh, would be mandatory. So, what Amazon Bedrock really helps you with, it sort of eliminates that need. So now you have serverless experience. You have access to all those models. Uh, which are just a way, you know, a f we're just a few clicks away and you can select from them and you can just use them within your code. So some of the benefits, obviously it accelerates the development for gen generative AI applications uh, without managing the infrastructure. That's exactly what we're looking into it. So let's get started with it. So here we have all the list of foundation models uh, from A21. Titan by Amazon, Claude by Anthropic, we have Cohere, Mistral, Llama 2, and Stable Diffusion as well. So if we want to go ahead and we want to select any one of these, you can find more details about them in the provider section. So you can just go through it and you can read about all these models, what are their strengths, and um, oh, how much tokens do they offer and stuff like that. All right, to access the models, we can go here to the model access links. And here we have all the models listed from all AI startups and leading companies. So to gain access, all you need to do is manage model access. And I've actually gained access to a bunch of them, uh, like Claude 3 Sonnet, Claude Titan Express, Mistral Zone, Be Instruct. So you can just go ahead, click the specific model and you can save the changes and you'll actually get access to it. So let's go ahead and use one of these models within our code. So for that, firstly, you'll need two import statements. Uh, Bot3, as most of you might know, is uh, the AWS SDK for Python that you can use to access AWS services. Obviously, you need to configure it through AWS CLI, but that's kind of an easy peasy step. The next step is uh, we need to initiate the Bedrock runtime through the Bot3 client. All we need to do is state uh, the uh, Bedrock runtime over here and we need to choose the region in which we exist. The second step would be uh, obviously the prompt itself. Uh, and then we need a bunch of arguments over here. So uh, I have model ID over here. Uh, I need my content. Uh, which which obviously means, you know, you're stating the content type over here, accepting uh, because some of these models can uh, be used for images and uh, along with text. So that's everything over here. And I'm just dumping in the body with the input text as my prompt. The next step is uh, we're going to invoke the model with all of these arguments over here. And we're going to fetch uh, the response and get the body out of it, read the body and print the output text. So that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and run it. 
So Python main. And yeah, here's a little intro about Las Vegas uh, from Amazon Titan. Uh, let's go back and let's go into provider. I'm going to cancel. I don't need the excess for Mistral large model. Okay. Um, so currently I'm using, I believe uh, that's Mistral. Oh, sorry. That's Titan Express V1. Uh, let's try a different model. So what we need to do, as you can see over here, with every model that you choose from Amazon, so if it's Titan uh, and we are here on Titan Text G1 Express V1, and you would get some uh, bits of details about the API request that you can use. So let's go ahead and go with Anthropic. And I think I have access to... Uh, sonnet. So let's try out Sonnet. Anthropic, Lark 3 Sonnet, and here I am given with uh, my model ID, and these are all the details I can actually hook up within my body. So let's go ahead and use this and let's see if it works. So we have arguments I'm just gonna comment out this one so I have content type except JSON all right tropic max tokens message and yes this is me uh, like the rule is user so content type image source blah 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 but we don't need this at this particular moment we just need the text so type text and we're gonna hook in our prompt over here right so that's that simple stuff so that's all it took to switch between titan to actually cloud three sonnet so that's the beauty of uh, amazon bedrock let's go ahead and run it okay so we got an error print response body okay so with every model obviously the response body can be different so let's print it out first Print response body. Let's clear this up. Python main.py. And okay, we got something. So the structure is pretty much like we have an ID, we have a type, we have role content. It's an array. Okay, so we have content, it's an array, so we're gonna choose the very first index and then text. So let's try to do that. So we have content and we have text. This should work. All right, perfect. So that's our response from our foundation model by Anthropic, which is Cloud3 Sonnet. So yeah, that's that's how simple it is. So you might have gotten an idea that uh, how convenient this is and how convenient Amazon Bedrock can be moving forward with building LLM powered applications. So let me know what you guys think. I'll see you in the next video.